get closer to each other. Should I put the windows up? Um, you want a box? I'm down. Where'd I put the lighter, bitch? <laughs> does my nose look weird from this angle? No. Bitch, me too, so too. that's okay. We love big noses here in this community. Hi everyone, my name is Lola. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with my friend Jen today. Um, we're gonna be smoking some Lowell Farms. Um, this is the bedtime indica. I've been going through it, okay? So, <laughs> so I like literally just picked up like hella and especially indica bitch because we, we need to have need peace, peace in our lives. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of talk about um what did I say, bitch? Mental health. Oh, mental health. Because <laughs> this bitch has a lot of problems. <laughs> this bitch? I said, oh, I was like, this bitch too. <laughs> and like, hide. with worldly, <laughs> with worldly love co and like me as a person, like I think mental health is so fucking important. I think in every sense of the word, like literally reality is our mental health. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't even want that to be deep because it's not. It's just fact, you know, like. Your entire world is your mental health, so you shouldn't give a fuck about what's yeah, going like on in here. Everything impacts you, so get get it to work, bro. Literally, and I feel like I don't know. I definitely think that with this, like the culture right now, it's like half facade, half reality, and it's like everybody trying to mimic everybody else, and that's what's so scary. Yeah. What about therapy? Oh and, yeah, like, mental health. But I've never been diagnosed with anything. <laughs> Which I think is crazy because I'm like, <clears throat> I mean, I think I'm just a complex person. There's like multiple sides to you. And I think that's what, it's like a gift and a curse at the same time, you know? Because I see myself in like literally everybody. Like friends will come to me and like say, it's, you know? And I'm like, oh, do I have that? You know? But it's like, no. Yeah. I got diagnosed in sixth grade because it was like impacting my life because I was like, being emo and like hurting myself wow. i just stopped a month ago so i've been a month <laughs> i'm happy for you yay that's a success i'm dude that's so weird i don't really think about that kind of stuff i think i my memory my brain's really fucking good at forgetting shit bro like that's it's like repressing a memory to like help you cope i have to really focus a lot of focus on it and like i would get like to, on the verge of like puking too it was bad <laughs> but um and then i think it was one night that it was like really bad that i like suddenly i don't know the like the memory popped in my head and i was like <gasps> and then it all made sense and then that's yeah. when i started healing and like i was like holy shit that happened to me and i was like that's why i like have so much anger and like all these problems and that's when i started healing but it's a, it's a journey it's crazy it though because it's like even like to this day, you know, like we're still we still go through abuse, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I'm like me with all my toxic exes. Then the people like you me. attract when you're mentally ill. Like I attract people like me who need help, so I become like a therapist friend, which is fine. But then sometimes you attract people who just want to like leech off of your energy. <laughs> dude, they're dude, like literal mm. energy leeches. Yeah. It's insane. I think I might be done to be honest. I'm gonna just park another one. Yeah. Oh fuck. We look so cute. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, actually that angle was not cute, but no, we won't talk about we, it. We are cute, what the heck? No, like I made a weird like face, like No. Bitch, we're cute all the time. All the time, time percent. You know, okay, here's my theory. It's not even theory, it's actual scientific fact, but let's not get into it, okay? But here's my theory. <laughs> Existence as reality itself is co complexity bitch it's like constantly complexifying we know that like a scientific fact what is a molecule what is an atom like when you look at it it's like neutron um proton electron and it's like them you together there but i get what you're saying okay basically a uh, proton and electron are clung, clung together at the center while electrons are outside of it spinning mm -hmm. that attachment and complexifying like that's everything that's all of existence all the time constantly attaching and just complexifying constantly attaching complexifying all existence and that's what reality so is and like it's the she secret to life 
I got a little more. <laughs> Shut up. Nobody swear. Like, doesn't that make sense? It does. Right? And that's what, like, everything is. Like, yeah, if you look back stagnant. at, like... stagnant. Everything is always, like, changing and, like, becoming new and rebirth and all that. The right people with the wrong intentions have been able to mold the world. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have the world that we're in now. Right? Yeah, you can't be perfect. Exactly. It's, like, like progress. To make a we have to, like... Or offend someone. Mm -hmm. That's why it's just to which be changes the perception that they have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's why it comes down to like your. My brain your is so own. slow right now. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no, it's okay. But I'm getting it. I feel like that's why it just comes down to like um, what's in here. Yeah. Cause I always think it's like, dude, the problems literally all in our all problems are always in our head. Like that's it. Yeah, like it's your choice how you view like the. It's, it's not even about, like, attachment. It's about awareness. Like, it's... Bro, if you can master being aware without being attached... Bitch, that's a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, balance, obviously. So sociopaths don't have balance. Yeah. And, like, for example, when I think my friend is thinking something because I'm, like, reading their mind and then I choose to be offended... I could choose to like be like maybe they're just having a bad day or maybe they're not even thinking of what I'm thinking dude literally and that's that's where I found my power is like dude you literally can control your thoughts you know mm -hmm. how powerful that is bro that's why I walk down the street like a bad bitch <laughs> you know why because in my head everybody's literally looking out their windows like oh my god she's so beautiful like who is that and then that's that, it becomes reality because bro what the fuck do I know for all I know that's actually happening and you know what in my head it's happening so it's happening in real life and that's why i like have the confidence that i do because like bro <laughs> you can literally give it to yourself and it sounds so ridiculous but you can that's bro true. who the fuck is anybody to give you the compliment if bro I give it to yourself head up, i feel like a bad bitch exactly like it comes down to that like it's all perception the institution of like mental health and like psychology and like therapy and psychiatry and all that stuff and it's just like so like scale based you know what i mean like measurements it's like this is what look good looks like this is what bad looks like and like this is what productive looks like this is what low productivity looks like you know mm -hmm. and it's like what shouldn't it be measured by the f happiness and fulfillment of the patient right that's what i think good mental health is like i definitely feel like everybody should be in therapy yeah i feel like bro I need to be in therapy. Go to therapy five days a week. I actually ha need to like literally go to therapy. <laughs> I need a call. But I definitely feel like everybody should be in therapy. And that's like, not, that's what sucks. It's like, it's not enough to say it because like, bro, it's really hard to get access to that kind of stuff. Yeah, it is. That's what I'm I didn't have insurance for two years and I was just like so depressed. My phone died <laughs> in the middle of my other one. Honestly, most people don't really pay. In, I, I don't think most people pay enough attention to mental health. Yeah. I feel but like you it's can't. because they don't know and they don't understand and they don't want to try to. Damn. It seems like such a long time ago when, like, I could relate to, like, people denying mental health. I guess I kind of got disillusioned by, like, the... The bubble. progress. Yeah, the, the progress in the bubble of, like, my little community, you know? Because I feel like I'm so good at weeding out, like... The facts. Yeah. So, wait. I'm like, why well, don't my pessimistic mind keep me in check? <laughs> you know what's crazy? I told my friend Kiera how, like, with really spiritual people, nobody really talks about, like... When you have bad days. Yeah, like, not just that, but, like, you don't get rid of the bad days. You know what I mean? Like... The same information that you feed your brain, like, to help you, it can use that same information to hurt you. It all depends on what your brain wants to do. Does it want to help you or does it want to hurt you? You know what I mean? That's why it's, like, you can know everything, but it's about applying them. You know what I mean? Like, applying mm -hmm. the the skills or the knowledge that you've learned. And it's a balance. Yeah. How, when do you think um, you became, like, self-aware, like, of, like... Maybe okay. I'm different, or maybe I need help, or start questioning, like, what, um, your, what your brain started feeding you, I guess. 
I don't think until recently, to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Like, maybe, like, a few months ago. Like, I started, like, questioning my, like, inner voice mm -hmm. and, like, talking to it. And being like, well, why am I thinking this and, like, challenging it? And then that's when I decided to go to therapy. <laughs> wow. And, like, for myself, not because other people wanted me mm -hmm. to. And, yeah. It was just weird. Like, I was like, I'm tired of, like, questioning my friend's motives and, like, questioning, like, everything and, like, creating, like, negative situations. Like, some of them were, like, valid, but some of them were not. Weren't, didn't even exist, yeah. Yeah, and I was, like, not knowing how to trust my gut and, like, my own head, and I was, like, feeling crazy. But, yeah, I feel, like, a lot better now. <laughs> Still have bad days or weeks or months, but there's, like, some good days. I think of, as a as an idea, therapy is great. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a but means it's of hard work and you have to want it and like put in the effort to give up like bad behaviors. And it's hard, but that's just really I've hard. seen other people recover and like get better, and I want that for myself. So it's not like some fantasy, but it feels like it sometimes. I agree, but isn't everything a fantasy? That's true. Everything until you fantasy. get to it. Yep. I just think it's really important that everybody go to therapy, to be honest. Like, yeah. I am going to push myself to go to the therapy. And, like, that's the thing I want. And, like, I'm... The hard part is, like, like how you said, like, it's not that easy. And, like... Ugh, it should be, you know? Should. And the worst part is, like, dude, therapy is just kind of like a clinical friend you know what i mean like yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't even need therapy if people were just nice if we just had nice people with genuine motives you know like if if we were if we all just decided to one day wake up and be good humans we wouldn't even need to change the world you know the world would just be good because we decided it would be i feel like there would still be sad people <laughs> oh no for sure obviously obviously but the my my idea is like it would take like the the structure of it away you know what i mean mm -hmm. like at the end of the day like it, it would in my opinion it would like restructure everything yeah physically the structures of it would be the same but the humans would be different therefore the system would be different you know yeah like if we if hi, if judges really were like fair you know what i mean if the system really was fair and if people weren't actually corrupt and you couldn't buy off people that's what i'm saying it's like if the world really worked the way that it it, it was sold, it yeah, it would be perfect. Yeah. And all it takes is for us to decide, like, okay, well, if we're going to say the world works this way, then let's actually do it. But, but we all self-deceive. De we question ourselves, we question other people, we question, we question, we question. We can't just accept things or do things as they're... Self-sabotage, mm -hmm. my favorite thing to do. <laughs> High key saying I mean, complexity, right? Yeah. It's like, it's attractive. <laughs> no, but simplicity is attractive too, but to a certain extent, that gets boring. Especially when you've been in like, traumatic childhoods and stuff. Hmm. I wouldn't let them be, though. I would delete comments like that. I only let people show me. People can show me. I don't really give a shit. I but I'm like super proud. about you. Thank you. So sweet. <laughs> my friends, I'm like super protective. Aww. I hate when people tell my friends shit. Same. That's when I become a, like, I'm like, oh my god, suddenly I have strength. Oh, I will literally kill somebody. Like, ah, people can, I've bro, somebody a, can kill me. I've never I don't been care. in a physical fight, but like verbally, I could like take someone down and like make them want to die. I could do it all. But, yeah. I could kill you with my words. I could kill you with my fucking thumb. My Straight thumb. up. I could kill you with my stare if I really fucking wanted to. Like, your stare yeah what oh your stare i was thinking like <laughs> my escalera oh <laughs> bro they should teach us mental health in high school like straight up you don't mm -hmm. learn about that shit the best i got was psychology and that was like and i liked it i'm finished smoking oh i probably look so high same Whatever. here I'm just, we're finished smoking so thank you guys so much for watching uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, don't forget to look into therapy 
Um, I will try check out Worldly Love Co. I'm sure they'll have real re resources somewhere sometime eventually on mental health. They'll be posting on their story all the time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>